Hey guys, Tim here, and today we're going to be going over my video game collection. Um, I'm doing this because, well, this is probably going to be the height of my video game collection. I'm not going to go over consoles or my setup or anything like that. I'm just going to go over the games that's in here in the anime slash everything else room. Everything that isn't manga room. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go over this because I'm actually planning to sell off a bunch of my video games. It's just, at this point... I don't even know why I have them really, it's just I was buying them up years ago and it was just a hobby I had and I enjoyed collecting video games and especially retro video games and now the market is just like doubled and tripled in price for uh, tons of stuff and it's just gotten ridiculous to collect for so now it's just crazy to even want to get into the market of collecting retro video games just because a lot of this stuff is so expensive now um even the heart even the common games are expensive and a lot of the gems and stuff there's been so many videos by big name people that have just jacked up the price a lot so um yeah i'm, I'm gonna go over this i'm not gonna sell off everything there's a lot of stuff i'm gonna keep but i'll probably get all get rid of the bulk of it um over time so yeah this will probably be the height of my complete collection I don't have a super collection or anything but I have a bunch of stuff anyway first we have for the master system my only Sega card game ghost house uh, double combo cartridge um, I really like the master system um, I may not get rid of any of these games just because it's a system I like and it's still not super expensive to collect for since there's not a collector uh, there's not a lot of collectors for it. there's only a few games that are kind of really expensive and there's a bunch of really fun titles like Rampage this is probably my favorite game for it Altered Beast is pretty good um, Shinobi of course um, the Alex Kid games Black belt, yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, I have a bunch of games for it. Um, America Warriors. One of the things that sucks about it is the box art. The box art is all like bland and grid, so that kind of sucks. Anyway, here we have the Mega Drive or the Genesis. Um, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Two. Um. Spider-Man, Street Fighter 2, and Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2. We have a bunch of loose games. Most of these are actually from my childhood in like the 90s and stuff, so I haven't, I haven't really bought anything for the um, Genesis since I've started collecting. Here we have a couple of 32X games really much to say Sonic Knuckles a loose we have Zaxxon 3D it also has like a little thing anyway over here we have the Vita which I really wish would have sold better here and I really wish we got a lot more games over here for it because it's an incredible system almost all of the games for it are just really good this one's probably the most played game i have for it hot shots golf really love that game super fun um yeah and we have just a bunch of games for it you can see all those yeah we have some boxed um advanced games zelda bunch of pokemon games here's all the ds games mostly pokemon some naruto um castlevania not much to say. This Yu-Gi-Oh game is terrible. It's just I really like the Yu-Gi-Oh games and they're really fun, but this one this one is just bad because it's not even as good as like the Game Boy Advance games like Yu-Gi-Oh the Sacred Cards. Uh, I think that's the name of it. It's super good and I beat it and then I went out and bought this one and it was just it it looks even worse kind of. Um here we have some 3DS games. Not many of those. Um, need to get more of them, but there's not a huge amount of them that I really want. This game is actually pretty bad. One Piece Romance Dawn. It's just, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of just text heavy games where you just read and read and read and it's just still images and stuff. 
so that's not uh, I much prefer like the Mario games just playing the game having a good time I don't want to sit at a still image for 10 minutes reading text anyway on to the PSP really love the PSP um, may not get probably won't get rid of any of my PSP games because it's a console I want to collect every US release for outside of like the sports games and the UMD movies and stuff we have the boxed Ragnarok Odyssey a um, couple of boxed PSP games and just it has a bunch of really strange titles and stuff that, didn't get a lot of publicity. Um, here's probably one of the most rare games for it. It's expensive as fuck. Luckily, I got mine for before it went up in price. Um, Twisted Metal is really good. Sonic Rivals is pretty good. Ghost in the Shell, um, Generation Chaos. I have a couple of imports: Bleach and Criminal Girls. Um, Paradise, Castlevania, which is awesome because I don't have to buy Symphony of the Night or Rondo of Blood, Dracula X, and both of those games are pretty expensive, especially Rondo of Blood. It's like, last time I checked it was like $90 for the Super Nintendo. Hammer and Hero and Atlas game, um, Obscura, yeah, it, I haven't even played it, it's just one of those games that looks weird. Stark, uh, Undead Knights. This one's a really good game for it, but really should have got a bigger release. It took me forever to find a copy of this. Uh, a bunch more, a bunch more. No, I'm, uh, I'm just going to skim through these. It's not even. Anyway, here we have some box. Like, it, these are some of the games I'm going to keep. Like, the games. I'm going to keep my PSP games, my Pokemon games. Of course, games I like playing, but there's a lot of. Most of my games that I have, I don't even play. Most of them I haven't even played, actually. Haven't made time for them, but I'm go definitely going to keep the Mega Man games, like the Cryon Conquest. And probably keep all my boxed ones, maybe. Um, Dragon Warrior. Yeah. Pretty freaking fun. Race 3. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Boxed, manual, all that stuff. Um, this is what I was talking about. This is an example of just how crazy the market has gotten for collecting older games. I got my Mega Man X box. I have two copies of it. I have a loose copy, which I got first, and I ended up getting a box copy. And whenever I bought this years ago, it was $10 boxed. Now loose copies are going for 30 plus. So it's just tripled in price. It's ridiculous. But I'll keep those games because Mega Man X is definitely one of my favorite games. And we have Super Mario World. I don't have a lot of um, Super Nintendo games because it's not a console. I had relatives that had the Super Nintendo, but I never had the Super Nintendo. I had the Genesis, so... I don't have many games for it. And then we have a bunch of Jaguar games. These I'll probably keep because they're probably not worth much of anything. And I grew up with the Jaguar, even though it's terrible and none of these games are really fun to play. Uh, so Dino Deuce is probably the best one. It's my personal recommendation because it's fun. And of course you have Tempest. Tempest 2000 is good. Now we have the N64 library. I might get rid of a bunch of these because I don't. A lot of them are I don't even play or really want. Like Star Fox 64, I don't really care much for that. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, uh, Castlevania. Gonna keep Castlevania. Gonna keep all my Castlevania games. Battle Tank. Gotta keep Battle Tank. Uh, Pilot Wing 64. Gonna keep that. Mario Tennis. Uh, uh, let's see. Zelda, gonna keep the Zelda games. Gotta keep all my Zelda games. Pokemon, Pro Skaters. Just, yeah. N64, I, I really like the console. I was gonna collect all the games for it, I was gonna have a complete library for it, but the way prices have gotten, it's just 
Ogre Battle 64 is super expensive. Um, quite a few games on it have really went up in price. Um, anyway, here we have some Nintendo games. We have the Castlevania Trilogy, the Mario Trilogy, the two Zelda games. The gray versions, because they're actually harder to come by than the gold versions. And yeah, back whenever I was collecting, Zelda was like... A seven or nine dollar game. It's it's an incredibly common game, but it's super expensive. And like Mario, Super Mario Brothers three, I got this for maybe like five dollars or so. It wasn't expensive, and now it's like a thirty forty dollar game. It's ridiculous. Final Fantasy was expensive even back whenever I was collecting it. Well, not super expensive, but. Uh, not really much of a need to go over any of these. Gold 13, uh, Rainbow Islands. This one's a pretty uncommon one, I guess. Dragon Power, the first Dragon Ball game released in America, even though they changed the sprites. Um, I'm going to keep my Mega Man games, Mega Man 2 and 3. Love to get a copy of 1 and 5 and 6, the ones I'm missing. Uh, not much to say about any of the rest of those. And then we have some Intellivision games. And down here we have a PSP game. Uh, well, PS1 games. Uh, King of Fighters 99, really good game. Um, let's see. Mega Man X5. Very good game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I kind of like this game. Resident Evil 1 and 2, Missing 3, Parasite Eve, Metal Slug, Dead or Alive, Vigilante 8, 1 and 2, um, Tekken, uh, have some of the RPGs for it, like the Final Fantasies, and Musashi, Thousand Arms, then we move on to the Dreamcast, um, I did a collection video on this before, and the only thing that's changed is I now have Marvel vs. Capcom. I uh, haven't bought any more because I haven't been able to find any more I really want. And then we have the Atari 2600 collection. Some of them missing labels, but I have most of the, some duplicates like Defender, Defender, and Berserk, Dig Dug, Centipede. Centipede, definitely one of my favorites. Donkey Kong, definitely one of my favorites. I even like Combat. Where's Combat? I don't know. Combat's probably missing the label. Space Invaders, uh, Asteroids, Frogger. Yeah. It's pretty fun. It's fun playing the 2600. Then we move on to the PS2 library, which I probably have the most for. Maybe. Yeah, probably the most. Anyway, we have the Naruto games. These these are probably this is probably a console I'll get rid of a decent amount for because I don't really play any of them. But I'll keep the DBZ games and the Naruto games. Grand Theft Autos, the Final Fantasies. Ugh. Getting tired. Anyway, going over this, don't really have a lot to say about it, honestly. It ever comes back in focus. Oh. Ah. Moving down here. Move on to the PS3. I think all the games are in here. Um, I'm missing a couple of games. A couple of games I have. I'm letting some friends borrow some games like uh, Wind Waker. And my brother has some of my GameCube games and 360 games because I'm letting him borrow those, some duplicate consoles and stuff. In games, but anyway, for the most part, this is my collection. I'm probably not missing any more than 10 or so games from it total. I'm um, going over these. Catherine, really fun game. You would expect it to be a lot more mature from the rap it gets. This is a loose copy. I have, I have the game complete in box, unopened from the Life is Over Deluxe Edition. Then we move down here to the GameCube. Um, yeah, GameCube. Anyway, we have the Resident Evil games, 
remake Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4. Naruto Clash of Ninja 2, probably the most played Naruto game I own. Can destroy it. That game really loved playing it. We got Pokemon. Um, and we move on to the Wii. Um, really want to start collecting more for the Wii. Might do that whenever I sell off and make some room. Because it's one of those underrated consoles. And the Wii U too. The Wii and the Wii U have some really good games that I'd like to get. What? Galaxy, Naruto, Zelda, Smash Bros. and stuff. Whatever. Then we have some more PS2 games. Yeah. Then we move on to the Xbox. Classic Xbox. We have Castlevania, Silent Hills... Uh, Dead or Alive, Extreme 1 and 2, um, then we move on to the 360, probably, I don't really play the 360, probably get rid of a bunch of these, but uh, not much to say there. And I'm going to try to open this with one hand, because in this, we have handhelds, some of them. Well, here's another one that was loose. But anyway, handheld games, handhelds, Zelda's, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh's, and Obladi Oblada. Then over here, almost the last, we have the Saturn games. I'm definitely not going to get rid of any of these. It's taken too long to collect even this small of a collection. I'd love to get my hands on a lot more of them, but... It's a very expensive console to collect for. So, yeah. But anyway, a bunch of really fun games on it. I think it's a good console. And then the last thing I'm going to go over is over here because I don't have a spot for these games. They don't fit with the other portable games. They have the Game Gear. And try to get all these out. Have quite a few of them, but not a super collection of Game Gear games. So yeah, here we are. A bunch of them, yeah. I like the Game Gear, it's pretty fun. So, there you have it. Much longer video than what it probably should have been for a collection this size, but hey, whatever. This will probably be the last time we go over this because as I said it's probably going to be the peak of my collection before I start selling a bunch of it off and making room for other things and since I've got other interests now so yeah thanks for watching and later